Lockie Dado and welcome to the show. Now, as we say goodbye to the warmer weather, our minds start turning to winter and the wonderland that is the Australian snowfields. With more than nine beautiful snow gum covered resorts, there's plenty of variety to choose from and without doubt, there's one that's perfectly suited to your dream snow holiday. And to help you decide which one, we've come up with a definitive guide to Australia's best snow destinations. Tough job, I know. So whether it's your first time to the snow, you're chasing a more relaxed family or couples experience, or maybe you're a hardcore skier or boarder, we've got you covered. On today's show, we're going to have a look at the New South Wales resorts with a trip through the snowy mountains. So sit back, relax, as we give you a tour through the Australian Alps. There are a few options for travelling to the New South Wales resort, but I've chosen to sit back, enjoy the views and drive. And today we're heading up to Threadbow, one of Australia's best all year round resorts. Easily accessible, you can either stay at Threadbow in its beautiful and unique village or nearby Jindabyne and do the easy daily commute. Jindabyne has a diverse array of accommodation to suit all budgets as well as shops, restaurants, bars and supermarkets. Once you get to Threadbow, parking and getting on the slopes are as easy as it gets. Car parks are located right at the base of the mountain and there's easy access to the beginner's runs, the ski hire and also the lift ticket office. And while it's an easy drive from Jindabyne, to actually stay in the snow is fantastic. Threadbow Village offers a wide range of lodges, hotels and self-contained apartments that can suit any budget. Another bonus is once you're in the village, your car is redundant as everything is within a short stroll or shuttle right away. Home to Australia's longest run of 5.9 kilometres, this is a true European style resort, just six kilometres from the peak of Mount Kosciuszko. There's something here for everyone with 480 hectares of varied snow terrain from beginner's runs to challenging runs for more advanced skiers and snowboarders. Many years ago we developed the Friday Flat beginner area which is a purpose built area and uh, many people over the years have come here and enjoyed the, uh, the gentle terrain to master their first few turns on skis and snowboard. What do you think it is that makes it so good? I think uh, it's a combination of fantastic grooming, fantastic snow making, as I said that, uh, that uh, purpose built slope um, all combined to make that first experience a memorable one. It builds up from Friday flat, they can move up to the merits area, there's some fantastic terrain for people with a bit more experience just to find their legs and work on their turns and then when they get a bit gung ho there's some, some great terrain on the hill as you can see behind me right here. Our ski hire is situated right on the snow with a fleet of the most modern rental equipment uh, which couldn't make it easier for uh, a first time snowgoer to uh, get up and mobile on the snow. And what about the ski school that you have here at Threadbow? We draw instructors from all over the world, um, I think about 19 different countries at last count, all going through uh, rigorous training and uh, appraisal processes to be placed here. Right now I'm at Australia's highest lifted point at Carol's T-Bar, from here we're less than 200 metres from the top of Australia at Mount Kosciuszko. On a day like this, it's just spectacular. But the mountain is only half the story with Threadbow. Once your day is done, you can swap your snow boots for the outbreak hind. It's time to get to know the town. There's uh, things like the bobsled run in the village just behind me here, you know, and then there's the leisure centre with the heated pool, water slide, climbing wall, squash courts. Uh, and then the village itself has so much uh, entertainment on offer, restaurants, cafes, little nightclubs, uh, you know, cosy fireside lounges. There's, there's a really a great uh, diversity of activity that you can get up to. Dotted around the pedestrian friendly village of Threadbow, there's over 20 bars and restaurants to choose from. So that means you're never going to have to eat the same thing twice. Easy takeaway, Brazilian barbecue, fine dining and a la carte options are available. The village is really what makes Threadbow. I think it's such a charming little place. It has that European feel from the, the old boys who created it. And uh, you know, it's just, it's just a magic place to spend a, a holiday. 
You know, I had a great time last night. Rippo really is a pretty town, but this is the main game. You know, you could ski or snowboard here for a really long time <laughs> and not ever conquer the mountain, but I'm going to give it a shot, so should you. By the time this is over, I should be pretty good on skis and boards, you'd think. Coming up, I experience the family-friendly resort of Selwyn Snowfields. I'm on a mission to bring you Snow Australia's nine ski resorts. In this segment, we're going to feature the well-renowned, family-friendly resort of Selwyn Snowfields. It's just um, such a great um, spot for family. The runs aren't too long, so the kids don't get too tired. It's really cost-effective as well. Um, and it's ideal for beginners, and it's compact. No queues, no crowds, not too overwhelming for small children. Selwyn is widely regarded as the ideal learn-to-ski and family snow recreation area. Located in the beautiful Kosciuszko National Park, Selwyn Snowfields is a day resort that prides itself on being very affordable, which enables families to create snow memories together that will last a lifetime. That's where we focus. We try and package everything up so we make it affordable for families to come and visit the snow. Just seven kilometres down the road lies Kyandra, the place where skiing began in Australia during the Kyandra Gold Rush in the 1860s. Kyandra is the birthplace of the world's first ski club, the Kyandra Pioneer Ski Club. The rest is history. Family company has operated uh, skiing in this area, both at Kyandra and Selwyn, since the 1950s. For a first timer to the snow, the drive up is easy, even if it's snowing, and that's ideal for mum and dad. Remember, you will need to carry chains and pay a New South Wales park entry fee. One of the great things about Selwyn is that it's very compact. You get out of your car and head inside to the base lodge, make yourself comfortable, and within 50 metres, you have access to everything you require, whether it's your first time or you're on your annual family holiday. Staying on the snow can be quite expensive, so for our guests, our families, it's more economical for them to stay in regional towns and just make the short trip up here on a daily basis. We've got a, a large car park right beside facilities. Car is the extension of the family home, and that all works. The nearest major town is Cooma, but most people stay in nearby towns like Adamitabi, which is about 30 minutes from Selwyn. It has a good-sized bed base for your family that's affordable. Over the last 40 years, Selwyn Snowfields has grown from a primitive one-lift operation to a sophisticated resort with 11 lifts, food and retail outlets, a ski and clothing hire centre, specialised snow sports school programs for kids and adults, terrain parks, a top-of-the-range snowmaking system that covers 80% of the mountain, and facilities that can cater for up to 2,000 people every day. It's great for beginners because we have gently progressing terrain which makes it ideal for those that have never skied or never been to the snow before so it's not as daunting as you know the bigger bigger slopes um, and 30 percent of all people that come to Selwyn have never actually skied before so we definitely cater for that sort of person. Whether you want to try skiing or snowboarding, tobogganing, snow tubing or you just want to build a snowman Selwood's really well set up for the first timer, the family, and they make you feel extremely welcome. What happens is the families come here, the kids learn to ski, they grow into teenagers, they, they'll go over and visit the other resorts. And I've been here long enough to see those children uh, come back married with their kids going through the cycle all over again. How's this? Mums and dads are relaxing either inside or at the picnic tables while the kids are out having a blast or at the snow sports school. How cool is that? Stress free. It's a good place for them to meet snow for the first time. Selwyn is very good. It certainly is a family centre. 
Selwood's the perfect place to start your family tradition. It's affordable, it's safe, secure, and the terrain is perfect for developing your skills. The kids will never get bored. There's excellent snowmaking, fun terrain parks, and great facilities. It's a perfect place to learn with a great snow sports school. It's also run by a family. Oh yeah, and everyone's happy. I loved it too, but the snow, I mean the show, must go on. Next stop, Perisher. Back on the road and my tour rolls on. Now I've just driven up from Jindabyne and Perisher does make it so easy. You can either drive all the way up the mountain like I have or you can park at Bullock's Flat and catch the tube up. If you do decide to drive all the way up, then you need to carry chains and you do have to pay the park entry fee, but that's all pretty standard. Because the Bullock's Flat Terminal is well below the normal snow line and only 20 kilometres from Jindabyne, it's an easy drive, especially if you've never driven in snow. Train services are regular and run to Perisher Valley and then on to Blue Cow. A ski tube pass includes the Kosciuszko National Park entry fee. And a good tip is that savings can be made by buying a combined train and lift ticket. Um, people stay um, off mountain in Jindabyne. There's some really good, um, well priced point locations down there, um, which work for, um, for first timers coming into the sport. And there's also a large range of accommodation here in Perisher, Guthiger, and Smiggins. Perisher is made up of four resorts Perisher, Smiggins, Blue Cow, and Guthiger. It's Australia's largest resort and big by any standard. With the, the four resort areas and um, 47 lifts, um, we cater really well for the, um, the advanced skiers and, and obviously the, the first timers and the never everers. Um, whether you're here to make a snowman, to have a snow fight, use Tube Town or, or start to ski, um, we've got something for everybody. There are a couple of options with equipment hire. You can wait until you get here at Perisher, rent it at Bullock's Flat or at Jindabyne. If you don't have clothing, that's fine because you can hire it all there as well. If you just want to snow play, then Perisher is the perfect place as they have an awesome tube park, tobogganing area and scenic chair rides. You can spend the whole day here. Now, if you want to make the most of your time at the snow, I suggest you get a lesson because it's really going to enhance your experience here. And it doesn't matter whether you're five or whether you're 35 or 40. Perisher has a massive snow sports school. Whether you're a five-year-old or a 50-year-old, we cater for you really well. Um, we look after kids from six months with our daycare um, right through to the teams with free ride uh, type programs in our terrain parks. But I mean, as you can see behind me, with products like um, snow carpets and, and pommers for the kids, it's um, a really good place for the kids to learn to ski and board. Perisher offers plenty, and they certainly haven't forgotten about families. Skiing and snowboarding is um, it's a pretty special family time. Um, that experience when you come off the hill, whether the kids have been in ski school or with you, um, you all walk off the hill having achieved something and, and sit back at the lodge and, and share your stories. With Perish's investment in snowmaking over the last five or six years, there's a really good product from early season right through till the end. Um, if you're new to the sport and looking for some really good value price pointed um, offers, um, June and September offer that. Um, fantastic snow, um, hopefully days like today and, um, and, and good value. So the, the best place to buy um, your products with Perisher is online pre-arrival. Um, you save a few dollars and get onto the hill as fast as possible. Uh, a lot of time and money has been spent on our website, our mobile websites, um, to make sure that weather conditions, lift status and those sorts of things are up to date by the second. We've also spent um, some time developing what we call our MyRide dashboard. So our guests can interact with us and um, they can compare and share with friends 
um, how many vertical metres they've skied, how many lifts they've skied, and um, you know the kids can be um, sort of sticking it to dad a little bit, saying I've skied a whole lot more than you today. We're all about skiing and boarding here in Perisher, and it's about maximising your time on the hill and spending as little time as possible in, in lift ticket queues and those sorts of things. This is just a perfect day. Snow's good, sun's shining. Where would you rather be? Nowhere! It's gonna be hard to top that, but I'll try. After the break, I journey to the unique destination of Charlotte Pass. and even the transport is getting excited. Now, if altitude is what you're chasing, then a stay at Charlotte Pass will take you all the way to the top. It's Australia's highest resort at over 1,700 metres, and it's smack in the heart of the New South Wales Snowy Mountains. Now, it's just eight k's from Perisher, but the only way to get there is via over-snow transport. It's pretty cool. car at Bullock's Flat Ski Tube and take the train up to Perisher to meet the oversnow vehicle, or you can park at Perisher. If you do drive, you'll need to carry chains and pay the park entry fee. You can stay overnight at Charlotte Pass, which is what I'm going to do, or you can just do a day trip. Charlotte Pass was built back in the 30s, the village, and we had one of the first ski lifts ever in Australia. And, you know, again, it's grown and grown from there. We've now got a number of lift systems here that get people around the mountain. Totally uncrowded slopes, still that, that feeling of adventure when you come out and ski at Charlotte's Pass. If you stay, you can experience the Kosciuszko Chalet Hotel, which is the historic heart of Charlotte Pass Ski Resort. If families want to come and get that, that real on-snow holiday experience, this is the place to come to. You know, everything's close by, the kids are safe, they can, the parents can see the kids skiing out there, the, the windows of the, of the chalet, everything's convenient, you know, you get all your meals included, all your accommodation, your transport, ticketing, ski hire, everything's in one spot, nice and easy. Originally built in 1930, the Kosciuszko Chalet Hotel is one of the premier accommodation venues in the Snowy Mountains. Known as the Grand Old Lady of the Mountains, the Kosciuszko Chalet provides warm and friendly customer service while still retaining that old world charm. Otherwise, you can stay at fully catered or self-catered lodge accommodation. Although Charlotte Pass is a little more difficult to access and smaller than the other resorts, it's blessed with the most consistent and best quality snowfalls in Australia. The unique car-free environment gives it a wonderful village atmosphere and it's ideal for kids and beginners, but also has enough to keep experienced skiers entertained. The hire shop means you can just roll up and get all of your equipment and then you're ready to begin the fun. Charlotte's also has an excellent snow sports school with a special program for ladies, all day kids programs, private and group lessons available. For first timers, the gentle slopes of Easy Does It and the home run are just the thing. Well, you know, when you're learning to ski here at Charlotte's Pass, any time's a good time. We've got some great, easy terrain to teach people how to ski here. You know, the, the valley below us here is nice and sheltered from the conditions. We've got snowmaking systems that give us that beginner terrain, so we can basically teach people to ski from day one right through to day zero. For those who want to try something else, there are also snowshoe tours and cross-country skiing options. Well, Charlotte's Pass is a unique place. You know, first, it's got all the history of skiing here. When you come into Charlotte's, you feel like you're walking back into time. But at the same time, you know, you've got some modern facilities and things that will get you going. It's good value. Everything's close by. We've got great beginner terrain. We've got a great ski school that can get you going. So I think it's the combination of all those things that make this a great place and a real snow experience, something they won't forget. 
I have to say, the snow experience on offer here at Charlotte Pass is like no other. From the grand old lady that welcomes you with all her history, to the facilities and the undulating slopes that surround you, it really is a wonderful introduction to the Australian snow fields. This is the on snow holiday experience, absolutely. It's just, this is as good as it gets in the Well, that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know any more about the destinations you've seen, head to our website, snowaustralia.com. There you'll find all the information you need and some fantastic season opening packages to get you started. And don't forget, June is Learn to Ski and Snowboard Month. Next week, we'll have a look at the best of what Victoria has to offer. So thanks for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next time.